Good morning. Welcome back to Video Diary on the Farm. Monday morning, and as you can see, the sun's shining. It's up there somewhere. Oh, yes. But uh, it talks a bit nice today, and uh, some rain coming across tomorrow. And, and then I think it's fine the rest of the week, so we're, hopefully we'll get a bit done today. And... Uh, and after Tuesday, well, we'll see what rain comes anyway. But uh, yeah, to start with this morning, they're here spreading mushroom compost up on some sand land, which obviously will be the first to go. So we'll just go have a look at that and uh, see how it's going. See what sort of a job they're doing to show you the machinery. Oh, just to add a bit of a milestone this week, it's the uh, 100th episode of Video Diary on the Farm. <laughs> Well, I never thought it had been going this long, or kept going even. So, uh, yeah, it's a big thank you to uh, all you viewers and subscribers that uh, keeps the channel going. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and hope you enjoy this one, and uh, keep watching. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see you at the end. Well, we're here at the mushroom compost heap. They're finished. We've got the tag agri spreading. He's got a big late JCB loading shovel to load it with. Fast track on front of the uh, K2 spreader, which holds approximately, the spreaders hold approximately 16 tons. Got green boards on, so fill it right up. Nice weight block there, Agri. Well, weight block with his name on. morning we've got Derek in the field with the SLD he's come to do some uh, to chase the spreaders out the field he's just opening his rear door where it stops all the pressure going onto the back of the rotors when he's loading um, mushroom compost it's going on at approximately well not approximately it's going on at 25 tons a hectare they have load cells and everything on the spreaders so it's all accurate so it takes into account the den different density of the material. And it spreads it, it's spreading at 15 metres. So he goes up my tram lines and then he fills it in between. As you can see, coming out the back very nicely there. Straking it up, getting an even application. a bit spraying and everything but, uh, yeah as you can see the wheelings are good traveling well yeah definitely traveling well there's only sand on here so SLD these 
these fields because uh, they don't take a lot of work in and there's nothing, no residue to bury or anything in them so drill go nicely in them. These particular fields, they've had, they had stubble turnips drilled into them um, last back end, and uh, there's nothing left. The sheep have grazed them all, but there'll be a lot of nutrient in from having the sheep on them, so uh, it'll do the do the lamb good. But the SLD is doing a cracking job. As always, it's uh, loosening the soil underneath and uh, firming it back down again, chopping it up. So, yeah. You can see it's a bit like Cleethorpe's Beach in this particular field. So even if it does rain uh, tomorrow, early hours of tonight or whatever, tomorrow morning, um, it'll soon dry and uh, George will soon get in here later on in the week and uh, get it put in with Ode of Stad. It'll not take long. And I mean, the great advantage of using the SLD is you're getting across the ground quick and you're doing it in one pass and uh, it's ready for drilling. Plus it saves cost of fuel. Um, even though we like ploughing, this this is more cost effective, really, to be honest. Pointed out ploughing again with a 724, but it's uh, it's slightly sticky, and he's on the hillside, as you'll see in a minute. Yeah, we're going to go over the off the edge of a cliff in a minute. It's fairly steep, just this bit up here, but it's uh, it's hanging wet. George is having to fetch it one way at the minute. 
it'll improve when we get off this seems about the slope, what do you think George? I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Stiff here, but uh, anyway, George is doing a good job. He's turning it over so it'll dry. Cause it's only going to get wetter, and we need to we need to get it ploughed. So yeah. To be fair, the old seven two four. It's doing well. We do would be a bit heavier, really, but uh, anyway, we're making a job of it. George is doing his best. Yeah, this field—it's got a cover crop in it, but it's it's had mushroom compost two years in a row, so uh, yeah, it's not getting any more this year. So they're just ploughing the cover crop under. And uh, we've moved on to uh, Winter Barley now, just on some of the lighter fields. But uh, yeah, we're putting on 240 litres a hectare again, which is the same as the rape, about 80 kilograms a hectare of actually nitrogen. And uh, yeah, it's travelling well. Yeah, the barley's looking good, this particular field. It's only on sand land, but uh, we drilled this with the uh, combi drill. So that, hence there's no tram lines, but uh, yeah, it's uh, give it a kick to get going. Nice spread pattern. There you go. See it spraying behind me tyres. What's going on? Well, at the end of this spraying season, uh, we're having a new sprayer, so uh, this demand will be up for uh, for sale if anyone is interested. Uh, it'll be available about the end of July, and if you are interested and want any more details, please uh, drop me a message in the box below. Yeah, we'll uh, give you some more information and uh, pictures and things. Well, we're just on our way down to. Uh, country park to uh, put some wood chip in the biomass boiler. I've been down here for a few weeks so it's lasted well since we last did it. Quite a few cars down here and electric vans. Must be uh, a repair job. tipping a bit then pulling out then we push it in with a forward lift and then tipping another load
in the wood chip from the shed at uh, Melton Road Farm. That's where we're storing it at the minute. So, four trailer loads and uh, that will uh, fill the uh, boiler up. That should last it for a fair few weeks now. So, all good. to go at in here but then we've uh, we're a few tons of chimber out aside here to chip as you can see in the background it's all piled up ready to be chipped in say summer when this is gone well we're just on with the uh, roundup in uh, some cover crops off we're plowing some and we're going to do some uh, with the SLD so uh, these are getting sprayed with Roundup. Uh, nice even cover crop that we put in with the uh, Opico low disturbance subsoiler at the uh, back end there. Yeah, it's grown quite well. You've got to love GPS really, <laughs> putting tram lines in, definitely. Well that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm. We have a mixed week, uh, nice sunshine at the beginning of the week, so allowed us to get a bit of land work done, but uh, then it rained, as it seems to be the normal thing it does nowadays, but uh, anyway, how we'll We'll keep plodding on, keep picking a bit off and we'll get there in the end. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, if you have liked it, please hit that like, share and subscribe, you know the routine and uh, we'll catch you again next week.